We're equally as awesome. And <laughs> like, right? <laughs> totally. Can you toggle your view on your thing so you can see all of us? We can, we have a speaker view. Oh, how do you do that? Ah, like that. And I could see me too. You can. <laughs> I was I always wondered on those on those calls when uh, Dan and them they're at, they're all like all staring at the computer and they can see probably hundreds of people. I was like, <laughs> little <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can only see fifty at a time, but fifty is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't really have a starting point for this except that I just like Marnie and I talked to. I mean, so okay, I'll just I'll come back up. Well, okay. <laughs> So <laughs> things all at the same time, <laughs> right? It's um, like how my brain works, and you're like, which one should I pull out <laughs> for right now? And uh, try to put two words together. If yeah, I, can. I mean, you guys have been fought like Sarah and Bobby. Like we haven't had we go on conversations, but I mean, you can follow me on Facebook, see the sense of where I'm at. <laughs> I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, like it's literally since July, like I, I went to a class in Michigan with Blossom and um, she's married to this man who's like really um, has been a hardcore Dutch Christian all his life and he's been really involved in Bill Hybels church. He makes lots and lots of money and he's donated millions and millions of dollars and continues to donate millions of dollars to different things around the world. And so Christianity for him is this, it's a lifestyle, you know. Um, and so she married this guy, him, and they've been married now for about four years. And so I, I think just over the course of their marriage, like Blossom's really involved in access consciousness and husband is really involved in like, but the, there's a lot of similar energies in that they both want to make a difference in the world and stuff like this. And so you know, I don't know a lot of the details of that, but essentially I ended up staying after a couple of days um, after that class and I ended up getting to have dinner with them. And we were just talking, chit chatting in and around a bunch of stuff. And then somehow the topic of Christianity came up and like my whole world lit up and I was like really enthused about it. <laughs> just, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but like, it was so clear there was such a discrepancy between what we were talking about and then this topic. And I was like, and Blossom just sort of looked at me and she's like, yeah, you really do an internet business. You know, like, what are you doing with your life sort of, <laughs> you know? And um, so anyways, that's how it kind of started it for me. And and since then, like, I've all these, all these energies of what I used to tap into when I would worship have been, like, just swirling through my world. And so I've, you know, invited music. I mean, I literally, with that, I dumped baby with bathwater. I'm like, you know, I'm going the consciousness road now, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And so... Anyway, so like since July, like just, and so what's been going on is just all this incredible gratitude and this awareness of like how I got here and the choices that I made to get me here and how I've separated from everything and just bringing all of that back in to be one big swirling, um, inclusive gift, you know? So I don't know, like about a, a month, I don't, in the last few weeks, like I'm like, I I can't get this topic out of my head. And so then anyway, um, Larry and Dane rewrote Foundation like they do every year. Foundation is one of the key classes, core classes of access consciousness. And every year it gets rewritten. And in that class, he mentioned on like day three or four that his desire was to see like conscious Christianity and conscious Islam and conscious Judaism. And I burst into tears. I had 13 people in the room and I was like in tears. And um, so I'm like, there's something here for me. <laughs> nope. Sometimes it takes a two by four. That's all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, so I so in the last week, I I mean, I got back from this class called Right Voice for You, and it was just I, I ended up leading worship in the middle of this class. Essentially, like she had, I mean, this class is all about like showing up more in the world, and what are you not saying, and being the voice of the different possibility, and like, you know, everything we talk about in that we've ever talked about as far as like what we know about what Christianity is. And um, we ended up singing Amazing Grace over and over and over as people went around and like touched each other's bodies and helped their voices. And, and it was so beautiful. And I ended up leading all the singing. And so everybody was in tears. And I'm like, okay, I can't not have, the, I don't know what this conversation is. I'm not starting a church. Like, I don't know, but I just have to start talking. And I literally, like when I got home, just turned on Facebook Live and that was the towel on the head video that was just like... <laughs> I'm just gonna start talking because I don't know. Right? <laughs> and, um, 
So I'm currently putting together, uh, I have a really cool website that um, is incredibly powerful. It's powered by Kajabi and it does these online courses. That you can create all kinds of different kinds of courses, very intricate to very simple. And so currently I'm creating a course called, I'm calling it a speed course in conscious Christianity that's going to be like an introduction to me, an introduction to access consciousness and the tools, and really an invitation to know what you know, you know, like the lightness that is what you know around this whole topic. And I'm just going to address different areas, like what about my family, and what about judgment, and what about, you know, how do I follow what I know, and what, it, you know, just introduction to this whole topic that isn't so much about like, you know, inviting people to a different set of dogma, but to really empowering people to like follow the lightness of what they know, you know, because there is lots of heavy in all of this. There is judgment and there is, you know, this whole topic of religion. I mean, all of us went to impact because we wanted to get out of the judgment of religion and into the possibility of, you know, changing the way the world to God. And Bobby John was born into it. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Totally. <laughs> yeah. And I was born <laughs> So not Christianity, but similar energies, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So that's how it's showing up in this 10 seconds. But Marnie called me, Marnie called me out of the blue today. And I, I, I saw her name and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so glad you called me. Because I'm like, oh, this is by myself, but I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> and so we talked for a minute and then we were like, what if I said, look, I said, what if we just start a conversation between Sarah and Bobby John? And she's like, oh my God, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Between the four of us, we could start a church tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, right? no, no, okay. no, no, no. No, we can't. Not say we like with a different name. We can't. No church. Nonprofit. So, pleasure, and I'm so open to like anything you guys have to say or whatever i don't even know i thought it was really interesting can you guys hear me yes okay cool uh it's just with the earpiece i want to make sure um one of the things that um i was so excited to hear uh, the, to watch your video on you know with the towel on um because it was, <laughs> because it was amazing because it was amazing yes <laughs> oh, um but the uh, I don't know how you contour. I was like, how does she do that? I can show you that. I'll do a video on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. Um, but when I was watching that video, it's so awesome because that's one of the things that, uh, like I was saying um, in the little text, was it's amazing how much access consciousness has just taken what I know about Christianity and what I know about God and brought that to an entirely different level because it because access consciousness takes the entire thing of judgment out of it and it just explodes the point of christianity to begin with I know. yes i know <laughs> like a, wait a second <laughs> it was like okay a god that judges you and everybody else you're supposed to judge everybody else and it was like oh my goodness it was just like epiphany of how incredible to be able to take the core beliefs of what you have, how to be with people in such an amazing way that Christianity can be, and without the judgment of allowing them to be in what they're in and us to be in what we're in and walk that path just like we do with Christianity. And it, but, it, but without the judgment. I was like, how could you not get better than that? You know, and so that, that has just been a huge spark recently for me. And just because I don't have to leave like, like they do in religions, I don't have to leave everything that I just, you know, took 10 years to work through. I can take everything that's amazing about that and that, I've, that has brought me to this place and build on that and move forward with it in, in, in lives. And that's what's been so exciting about this topic for me. Yeah, totally. I mean, and the whole definition of consciousness that they use is includes everything and judges nothing. And it's like, that is the piece of Christianity that somewhere we got, well, that's one of the pieces. We got really way <laughs> off. That's a big piece. <laughs> but the, um, Crystal and I were talking about today is, you know, another thing is it's all about empowering you to know that you know. And what was Jesus doing when he said, here's the keys of the kingdom? 
he was saying, I'm empowering you to know that you know. And it's like, I don't know, when Crystal and I were talking, there was just this energy of like, what would it be like if all of, like the foundation of Christianity shifted to be including everything, not judging anything and empowering people to know that they know and to not be afraid to use their voice, even if it doesn't match what the rest of Christianity, mainstream Christianity is saying, because right. there are far more of like the four of us going, wait a minute, Hang on. this is like added something to my life. And that <laughs> there's really fucked up. And it's like, you know, so it's like, what do you do with all of it? I went to Chick-fil-A and, <laughs> Right. So Chick-fil-A is full of Christian people. Yep. Yep. Are you a Christian? I must be. But, I love their sweet tea. Oh my gosh. I love their sweet tea too. <laughs> and, and, but it's just funny cause this, it was like probably 18 year old, you know, I mean, stereotypical youth group kid. Okay. I mean, yeah. you know, I know them, you know them, right? <laughs> but she had a level of joy in her world that was contagious. And nice. it was like, no, and I was like, that right there is it. And you mm -hmm. see it, it's like, it's like you see the Christianity that does the law and the judgment, but then you see the people <laughs> where it actually has provided them. Like, what did I miss? Uh, she just knocked her phone over, I think. <laughs> Are you sure it's water in your glass? <laughs> no, it's not. It's pineapple cider. It's really delicious. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> But, but the level of joy, and I was like, that's what it's all about. And it's like, if it went back to that's what it was all about, it would freaking change our whole world because America is still very much seen as a Christian nation. Very much. And there are small pockets of kids getting those tools, but it's so, they're overshadowed. Way overshadowed. That's not, yeah, yeah no, I, yeah. Yeah. Or, or like you, or like when we were, when I was growing up, you know, I mean, if you ever stepped outside of any kind of boundary, if you decided to ask any kind of a question that was outside of what people understood, they got all afraid and scared about it. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's usually what happens with a lot of these young people. They get to a certain point, they ask a question and then everybody shuts them down. And it's yeah. like, you know, that's, that's, that's the point at which I started to say, wait a minute something's not right about this, <laughs> you know, because I mean, I, I, w I had a conversation with my brother. Um, oh, it would have been like four or five years ago. And, um, and basically he's like, why did you leave God? And I'm like, I didn't leave God. I just took, I took what I knew and I expanded it because I think that's exactly what Jesus wanted us to do was expand this beyond what he knew at that time and what he could do at that time and just blow it out of the water. That's what he told us to do. And so, and yet people get like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? No, no, no. It's, it's all written here. You have to do it this way and mm -hmm. only this way. And I'm like, uh, I see other people who are living the same thing and they're not doing it that way. Yeah. So and I mean, how? Like, I just even bringing into this conversation, the whole conversation that's going on in access consciousness right now, which is about order and chaos. And I'm like, there's all fuzzy something going on. Yeah, I think we lost Crystal. Hold on. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> this class just moved to sign language. <laughs> Hold on, we can hear you. Well, no, Is that we better? Can. can we? Hey, look, it's Crystal. Oh. No, but just this whole conversation of order and chaos, and I, I know you, you, Bobby, John, and Sarah, you can, I mean, I'm, if I'm starting to talk access, just like slow me down and ask me questions because I feel like you're a part of the thing, and you are. <laughs> I, actually, you know what's really funny? The other day I realized I've never had my bars run, and I haven't been what? to any of the... I haven't been to any of the classes yet, but man, the tools are amazing. I'm yeah. using them all over the place. Well, we talk about that all the time. <laughs> life with the free stuff that's on the internet. Like, you don't even yeah. need to, I mean, aside from, get your fucking bars run. I don't care who you find. <laughs> you I'm supposed to see oh. Marnie at New Year's. Jesus. <laughs> get your bars both of you. I'm excited. What? Get your <laughs> bars. I'm yelling. 
Uh, I'll have Michael come over and we'll just like tag team and he, we won't oh let him get off the table. <laughs> Bring it on. Right? Wait, you're going to be in Colorado for New Year's. Oh my God, that's what you were saying. And my sister yeah. was trying to get me to go to Chicago for New Year's because they're wedding dress shopping, but maybe I'll go to Colorado instead. Anyway, <gasps> whatever. Okay, so the chaos order thing, but the, here's the reason why I think I keep needing to say this. <laughs> Is that... The because people that, too much chaos, I guess. There's so much. Um, the people that see a different possibility that ask questions and choose and are willing to know what they know are chaos in the system. And so, like, everybody, like, I, even Bobby John, I know enough about your family to know that your family does a lot of order. My family does a lot of order, right? Like, things have to, and our, most families do a lot of order. That's, like, what we're supposed to do. Like, you're supposed to figure, get your beliefs, blind faithfully do them and stick, stay in line and here's the rules and those are the boundaries and that's the thing, Right. But the, the consciousness in the, is chaos. Nature is chaos. The earth is chaos, you know, and it's organized chaos, but it's chaos. And so that's what this, that those of us that are willing to be questioned in an ordered world are the chaos that are going to disrupt everything. Jesus was fucking chaos in that system. Oh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> chaos. He was yep. everything on its head. All of it. And I mean, I... Yep. This is actually what started unraveling it for me. I think it was just like 30, when I was 34, so like almost eight years ago, way before Access, was like I read a book called The Sins of Scripture. And I don't even remember what I read, but it started creating question in my, it wedged my world. I was like, mm. and I started looking at like all the different shades of blue and all the different shades of green and all the pixels in our eyes and the individual snowflakes and the individuality of our DNA. And I'm like, and there's one way to God? I'm like, it just, I mean, actually what, what happened was Jim Richards was in my head. He's like, you want to compare everything you read in the Bible to the nature of God. And I'm like, that doesn't match. Yeah. And I'm like, and some guy created that. And I get that that some guy is Paul and we've made Paul really, really important, but Paul's the one that created the club. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not Jesus. <laughs> right. Anyway, so, right? And, and whether or not, I don't even need to argue that to any, I don't even need that to be true for anybody else. I don't even think that's the point. I think the point is like, what do you know? What's true for you? What brings lightness into your space and gratitude into your world and vulnerability and presence and the greatness of you? What brings that out? What brings the being of you out into the world more? Do that. Those, the, whatever yeah. that is. <clears throat> and the trusting that though, that's one of the tools that I've noticed has been interesting for me coming from such a strict background. Oh, I get it. <laughs> um, trusting yourself. Yes. No, they don't tell you to trust yourself no, because every t yourself. they literally tell you, don't trust yourself. And you're like, what? Oh my goodness. I can't believe they told me that. But they did because that's what they thought. But it's just that piece, trusting yourself, like you're saying, because being a to, be able to, to be able to walk that with confidence, you have to be willing to trust yourself. And you have to be willing to be made wrong and to be vilified and to be judged. Yep. That's a whole set. That's like a, a couple of years of tools sometimes. <laughs> that's, you know, it's, that's really easy to flip out of your mouth, but I mean, right. it's three years to get here. You have to like 50 access classes. <laughs> and, and yet I think it's so awesome what you said the other day about um, uh, the, the right voice for you class that where the, when all of the walls are gone, nothing can touch you. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. It's so true that as soon as you let go of everything that you think makes you something, to really connect with who you are totally and 100%, then it doesn't really matter. Everything else is just there. Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts how that works. And that's been huge. Yeah. And I get that it's, that it's all about what you just said, because when we are no point of view and no judgment, then we're just an invitation. And when we are an invitation, it's like, here, here's an invitation to something else. Some people are going to be freaking judging the hell out of it. And then some people are going to go, yeah, I always knew. That I knew. That's, that's that. what I always knew. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. again, you have no point of view which one it is, whether they hate you, despise you, or say yes more, please. It, mm -hmm. you don't care. It's not, it's just, here's the invitation. And it's a being the invitation. It's not a doing or talking the invitation. <sighs> the invitation. Yeah, which I, I love that Dane Sorry, I'm talking over you. No, no, go. <laughs> Sarah, some, I want to hear from Sarah. Sarah, raise your hand. Get in there. As I'm thinking, thinking. I'm hearing it. I got to hear what, say one thing because I see all of our little shots here and I'm thinking like mug shots. And I was like, ooh, we should have a website, Guilty of Heresy. <laughs> and Crystal, heretic, Mario, heretic. 
And then like just post shit about what we started asking questions about and then freaking do a zoom and go bring your questions. <laughs> People who are wondering if maybe you are a heretic because you don't see it the way everyone's told you it is. Let's ask questions. Let's have questions of a heretic. I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. And oh. I'm recording this conversation so we hey. can use this. <laughs> That's our first post. <laughs> oh, man. Shameless <laughs> marketer. I am shameless. I'm oh, I know. Crazy. Well, <laughs> that's your first comment. <laughs> 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 oh, man. conversation about Christianity. <laughs> that, uh, you proved your point. I, <laughs> me too. Yeah. I was just like, it's up right now. I got to turn the video. So <laughs> turn the camera on. <laughs> Sarah, 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 hi. What? Tell me what. Well, um, part of it is language because I'm not quite as immersed into. So I'm taking a minute to just to hear what's actually being said and trying not to judge the words as I would think that they mean. If it makes sense. Because when you say imitation, what I don't like. Which is like such a huge perspective that is really required in it is actually really it is. But yeah. it's. it's it's a huge um, descriptive word, if that, may, if that makes any totally. sense. Totally, totally makes well, sense. Well, and I, you know, like even for you, like for all of us, I, I think, I mean, what I get about this, and actually I'm interested in what you guys get, is that I get that like, we've all got different language, you know, because we're all coming from different ends of the spectrum. And, um, and yet there's an energy here or a set of energies that resonates. Is that true for all? Is that, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. So like, Sarah, like, I, I don't even care. I don't even care. How, like, ugh, I don't even know what I want to say there. <laughs> Hi. Blah. Hi. <laughs> what, what I was getting from that was the, um, that that's one of the most amazing things about access is the fact that you don't have to get it all yeah. to get it. Like, you can feel the energy of what's going on. And when you're truly trusting yourself, you can be that without even knowing the tools. And then all of a sudden the tools are there and you're like, whoa, oh, it just, it just like everything starts clicking. It was just amazing for me. I, I, I mean, I basically watched my first video in June, I think. <laughs> and, and I mean, from that point forward, I've just been from one video to the next and all over Dane stuff and, and Crystal and I'm just, and, and yet every step forward and every tool has just blown my world away and taken me to a holy, a whole totally different level. <laughs> a holy, okay. a holy okay. level. Something that's really funny, you guys, is about three months ago, no, yeah, when this thing, I was in the grips of all these whatever energy this is i made this um banner in this telecall series called you are holy because i really remember like in, the, in when we took classes with ron marquardt one of the things that struck me more than almost anything i learned in school was this description that he made of holy and what that meant like handcrafted like one of a kind like totally unique set apart and i was like that energy like there isn't anybody talking about that we are that we are holy we are those I think what access consciousness, I'm totally overriding, I'm sorry. I think the people access consciousness does that Christianity doesn't do, or at least globally, is put um, identity, like that sense of open identity, but individual identity. Like we kind of just group Christians together and be like, you have to act a certain way versus, hey, you are, you are uncommon, you are different, you're set apart, you are a unique person that has specific influence and specific purpose um oh, that's that was a random thought in my head sorry it's okay, I, like it. yeah. I dig random i do random <laughs> i i can to i can totally connect with what you're talking about being individual not getting lost in the group in the sense of you totally know who you are 100 percent that there is no one else like you and you just have this confidence of the fact that you are you and yet, at the same time, you're so totally connected to this huge, I love that Dane calls it the, the uh, kingdom of we, um, because it's that. It's, it's that we're all a part of this, which is so incredible. And like Crystal and I were talking about today, it's like every single one of us, what do we know that nobody else knows? I mean, it's like our piece of the 
puzzle. It's our piece of the song, our, our, you know, verse in the song, our mm -hmm. line in the poem. And it's the thing that we know that, yeah. and, and how much have we like let ourselves be shut down because we were afraid of the judgment or it was too far outside of the box or nobody's going to get it. No one else is saying this. So what's right. wrong with me that I'm seeing this? Well, what if it's not what's wrong with you? It's actually what's right about you. Right. Like, the world's waiting for you to go, here's my voice. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And another reason, like I get we're all sort of agreeing on everything right now, but another reason for this conversation is like all four of us have something very different to bring to the table. Yeah. Like we share an awareness of these energies and what else? And, and that's the other thing I've been really looking at. I was talking to my roommate Torsten today just about the standing rock thing. And I have a friend of mine that's going out there right now just to be a different possibility and run bars on people that are injured and, you know, just be present differently there. And I, it's been sort of wedging me because I'm like, there, I have been feeling this intensity of like, now's the time for action. Like it isn't just the time to be post posting on Facebook and stuff like, like there's, there, there's real stuff in the world occurring, you know, that I would like, like if that was occurring in my foyer, I would have something to say about that. That would not occur. <laughs> you know? Um, but to travel there, that's a bigger choice. And so I was looking at that whole topic of like, um, of that and, and I was sort of like, and then I said to Torsten, I was like, and I get that, that each one of us came here to kind of unlock something different. Like one of the things that we play with in, in bigger access classes that changes the energy of things is this whole concept of locks and keys. You know, like each one of us came here to unlock a different piece of what's possible to choose or what, you know, the world can have and be and of conscious. So, um, so that was the other piece of like, I really got, when I looked at the four of us in particular, and probably everybody who fucking went to Impact, you know, <laughs> yep. there is well, something that we knew. You know, that's yep. a little school down in Huntsville, Alabama. <laughs> that is not like, you know, fucking, I can't even think, oh, are you, you know. Right. That, <laughs> not in the same, yeah. So anyway, so just also the gift, the gift of each one of us too, and how different each one, you know, and Sarah, the perspective that you have, you not being wrapped up in access consciousness, you know, like um, all the life, ex you know, just all the shit that we've got to contribute here in different ways, you know? Um, yeah. totally. When you were talking about the, the holy and all of that, I know even back at Impact, when worship changed for me, was when I got, you know, the way it was languaged then was like God saying those things to you, but then it yeah. kind of, kind of, you know, transformed from that to just getting that energy of adoration yeah. and having that here, not from an external, external source or from anything out here, but having that, oh, adoration here, oh, yeah. gratitude here. And it's, I guess the thing that I get is that all of it, that's what it's really supposed to be about is who you are, what you are, the gift that you are, you know, and what, what would it take to, it, it's just like little two degrees off, two degrees off, two degrees off, that if those little two degrees would shift, freaking whole different reality, I mean, whole different, whole different thing. I look at like what Rob Bell's creating in the world, just, oh man, holy shit. <laughs> oh man, that, there, sorry, you just said that, um, yeah. um, so that is one of the one his message is one that just brought me to a whole new place of questioning me too. which i absolutely loved i mean his um the gods aren't angry and getting to the end of it and saying maybe this entire thing was for us and not god and oh man my pastor could go through that entire video all the way up until that point and then he's like no i can't do it and I'm like, yes, I can. <laughs> it was just <laughs> because it was just it was just incredible um, the perspective there, and it just brought me to a whole new place of questions and and being okay with that. And the other thing I was going to say earlier um, that came to mind was um, with the hold on just a second. Now there's all kinds of chaos up there. Um, um, the turning point for me came when I really accepted and started to question and really take on the fact that fully and 100% believing that 
God is a part of me and I'm a part of everything else. That was huge for me. Um, believing that I'm an infinite being, that was huge. And that brought me to a place of being able to handle questioning in such a totally different way. You know, one of the things that shifted for me really dramatically, uh, um, I went to Alberta. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so beautiful. I was up in Canmore and Yeah, that's not where I'm from. <laughs> no. Flat land prairie. But anyway. Well, I was up in the Holy of Holies. Seriously. Yeah. It was so yeah. pretty up there. Uh. But, but but actually it's funny that that just slipped out of my mouth because that's exactly what it felt like. And I was driving through the mountains and I had this epiphany. I remember your post because you stopped and took a full Holy shit. Well, I don't know. I don't even remember what I put put in that video, but I don't know if I said this part. Um, maybe I did. But I was I was driving along and, and looking at the mountains and I I had this epiphany of like I have constantly since I've been on this planet been trying to get to a better place. Because I've always been trying to get to heaven or get off the planet so that I can get to a better place because this place is so miserable and this place is so sad and this place is so hard. And I didn't even realize that I'd been living from that paradigm until I'm driving through these mountains and I look up at these like mountains off in the distance and they literally started talking to me. I was I don't know what he said, but he was talking to me. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what if this is heaven? And I can't, I don't even know if I can do justice to them this moment because I, but I was like, what if, because literally, like, I realized up to that point, like, any, we have a lot of conversations in access consciousness around the earth and, like, contributing to the earth and letting the earth contribute to you and creating the earth as a sustainable place. And from the beginning, I was like, meh, earth, whatever. Earth was so irrelevant to me because I was so busy trying to get to heaven. Right? <laughs> and I was like, so, so with this moment, I'm staring at these mountains and I'm like, oh, my God, wait, what if, what if? there's nowhere else to be where like everything is included here. Like we have God here and us here and energies here and the earth here. And what if this is not just it, but like, this is it. This is the place. Do you know? See? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that, but I was just like, even that piece that took me away from being present here now, you know? And I was like, wow, me present here now is a potent motherfucking thing, right? Like us being actually present here and not trying to get somewhere else or desperately seeking somewhere else, but actually incredibly present here now is like potent beyond, you know? So, so just even that, I have no point. That's my only point. I don't know where I'm going with that. That's okay. That's what's awesome about it. <laughs> I, I have loved the fact that you can ask a question and not need an answer. Yeah. That has been so phenomenal for me. I love that. I can just ask a question and let it go. Yeah. There it is. That's it. And what can it create? You know, I mean, that is huge. I guess my question. Oh, who's that is? I think, Bobby that, I think that's your question. That was it mine. Oh. I just muted Bobby John. I just <laughs> now he can't speak. <laughs> okay, I'm unmuting you. Okay. Um, Can you hear me? Yeah. There yeah. is something going okay. on with your headphones. It's just there. really low. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix. Whoops. <laughs> I would love to see this if we actually were drinking wine. It could be really funny. <laughs> I think this should not be the last time we do this. Second round. Agreed. Agreed. Next time we should do this inebriated. <laughs> <I'm> in. <laughs> Slightly under the influence. Um, I guess my next question, I am actually curious, like what is there something that you guys are aware of that wants to be created? Is this just like an initial, is there just more conversations to be had? It's like, do you have any awareness from this conversation or during, or of what could be next? Or? Well, I think we said it, another meeting with wine. That <laughs> works for me. I need to uh, get up on my lingo. And <laughs> no, actually you don't. You actually don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so, 
Access consciousness to me uses a lot of open-ended words. And so the uh, definitions are up to whoever's listening. And so when I first like, because I think Crystal, you introduced access consciousness to me. So everything led me back to Jesus. I mean, it was just like, I didn't have a clue that it, he, it wasn't godly. Like I didn't have, a, or I don't, I'm, that's a judgment, I guess, but I didn't realize that he wasn't like a preacher because it really, it just all same energies. I know it all brought me back. And, I, and that was what I was, I was needing. Cause I was drowning in, you know, parenting and grief and all of that. Um, that's cool. So I still like when I'm, when I'm hearing you describe things, it's still like, I still, that's how I see the world. I see the world. Like when you're talking about like, this is I, heaven I'm saying, well, yeah, it's the kingdom of God right here, right now. You know, like that's still very much how I see the world. So I'm really trying not to be that person for you because that is how, like, I am I'm there. I'm so grateful. I'm a thinker. Cool. So, no, very cool. Very yeah, cool. like I'm. Well, and I think what I did, and I know what, actually, I know what I did is I took all this and I went like, you know, Jesus has nothing to do with this. And I just took Jesus right out of it. And so for me, the whole epiphany has been, oh my God, this isn't separate. Right, right. Yeah. In fact, not only is it not separate, but it's the same goddamn fucking thing I knew all along my whole life. Very much just rebranded. Right. It's a different framework. And that's totally. Totally. Because it's such a different framework, you can still see the same principles working. Yep. That you didn't see before. Like yeah. even just the 30 day beauty challenge. Yeah. Yep. Well, like I know God created my body. I've heard that for my whole entire life, but I do. Have I taken the time to appreciate my nose on my face? No. Right. But you know, all the, the, just those simple tools have helped me go, Oh yeah, I've got this machine that works quite well all the time, all the time. And you know, my mind is separate from my body. Like, yep. and like I, and I can teach my kid that she is in control of this. Like this, this does not have to dictate what's going on in her mind. Mm-hmm. Isn't anyway. that amazing? Yeah. To be able to do that, it's just, I, that's so exciting to me. To be able to teach this stuff to my kids, I mm-hmm. just, I am so floored to do that. Well, I, I think it's so cool too, because like we talk about in classes all the time that in some, like with all of us, there was areas of our life where we've always functioned from consciousness, right? Like we've always functioned from not judging and including everything, right? And it, so it sounds like for you, Sarah, that a lot of this was just like, yeah, d- right? Wasn't this, didn't you have this too? Like, <laughs> don't you yeah. see the world like this? Yeah. Um, which is the difference you are. Like, that's so cool. Like, sorry. No. Yeah, yeah you should be sorry for how fucking unique no. and awesome you are. <laughs> Please apologize for that over and over again. (laughs) No, I was actually having a conversation with someone else this week, and I don't see a lot of people do this, but you you do this also, Sarah. And it's Uh oh, thing you say is authentic. It's authentic and genuine. It's it's not a borrowed point of view. It's not because someone else said. It is always real and true for you, always. No, and that is like a beautiful thing. I mean, when you listen to people talk, so much is parroted. So much is, oh, I'm in this group of people, so this is how we're supposed to say things. Right. And when somebody speaks from them, the place of authentically them, everybody goes, <gasps> Right, like it was profound when it wasn't. It was like, <laughs> what was that? I said, people are like, they'll say like it's profound when it was just an opinion or a thought, if that but makes sense. But it's, it's but it natural to you, but everybody else is like, oh, an original thought. I don't know if I've ever had yeah, one. Okay. You know? Y'all are original thinkers. That's <laughs> why we're each other down. That's why we're talking. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. that you have a southern accent because now mine's starting to come back. I like a miss. Oh, right? <laughs> My kids have like it's so deep. Your kids do? Oh, oh yeah. Like <laughs> redneck. Like they sound like my grandparents. <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. That's funny. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess the other thing I want to do is like I am doing a free call. I'm calling it Right Christianity for you as a <laughs> You know, and if you, I'd love to have you guys on it. I'm, I'm definitely going to lead it and it will, there will be facilitation, but I'm also really open to like what you guys want to contribute or even question or anything like co-facilitate, like Marnie, you're a facilitator. Like, I'm just really open to however that wants to show up, whether it might turn into just a conversation. I have no idea what the fuck this call is going to be. <laughs> 
you know what who like do you have people signed up do you know what flavor they are nope i don't know the flavor but i've got i haven't checked i might have like 40 right now and i'm going to do some more promoting I'm, I'm what would it take to have 100 people on there like um easy because everybody who's been locked into a negative experience of christianity is going to want freedom from it because they know they can. So if I can, one of the things I can do, if you want to play with this, just to see what we can create is I can send you the, shoot you the graphics in our group and you can share and post. I mean, like if you want to see how many people we can get, cause I'm really actually curious, like who's wanting this conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I get, this is just a start like this. We can create as many of these as we want to. Like we could actually create a whole every week do, I mean, I don't even know, like we could just keep doing these. Um, and so, yeah, so we can start with that on Wednesday and. Hey, what time is it? My yeah. It's going to be, let me look, hold on. Um, Wednesday, oh, my calendar is just not doing what it needed to hold on. Just hang on, it's got to get a present. I love how your computer <laughs> just made you a ghost. Duh. Um, oh, my bad. Wednesday's call is 11 30 a.m pacific so that would be 12 30 p.m mountain so lunch time ish yeah i was gonna say lunch hour and sarah i think for you it's 11 2 30 she's she's an hour before uh, an hour before us or ahead of us i'm sorry oh 1 30 then yeah sarah time so it'd be 1 30 for sarah if it's 12 30 for us yeah I might, I, yeah, I should be, I might squeak in, but I should That's be able fine. to. I'll just, you know what I'll do? I'll post a time and date link. So you guys, so I'm not fucking yeah. up the time. And then I'll, I'll post some graphics. If, if you want to use it, I don't even care if you, if you use them great, if you don't, I mean, you can also share my videos just as a piece of promotional social media. So yeah. <laughs> watch this towel video. You will learn something. <laughs> um, and if you want to, I can post this as a pre-conversation to it and we can just see what this creates. It will produce uh, some fun conversation. I can't wait to hear the feedback. Are you guys all open to whatever this creates? <laughs> I'm in. Sure. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. All right. I'm excited. I know. Me too. Cool. cool. Well, so, okay, the call, so the call's Wednesday, 1130. Um, yeah, cool. Let's, so let's just start there and just go from there and keep talking. Um, okay. What else is possible? Right? I do like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm enjoying the idea of starting a church with you guys. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know why that sounds so fun, but it does sound pretty fun. Because we're fun <laughs> people. Party. <laughs> right? I, I, yeah. I have to say, one of the things on that video, I, I just busted out laughing what? so hard when you said, I fucking love being happy. Right? And I just couldn't stop laughing because I was, I could totally connect with the energy of that. You know, it's not like that you have to be happy all the time, but this stuff just makes you happy. You're just like, you can't quit well, smiling. It's do we want to edit this? Because we talked about you, Marty. Talked about what? Your mom. Um, was that recorded? Yeah, so that wouldn't be good. Can we take parts out? Yeah, I can't. I I will. I'll I'll download this and throw it into iMovie and cut <laughs> out a few parts. Oh, but, oh, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You don't want that in there. No. I could. I'm I'm good to start. You don't want to start shit. I can start. I I'm happy to start shit. <laughs> I like to start the shit that I choose intentionally to start. <laughs> kind of my mode of operation usually. all right i'll take it out that's fine that, that might make thanksgiving uncomfortable it could be interesting <laughs> i'll turn the recording off next i kind of get